Welcome at my art studio. My name is Kai Weber. I'm the art director at the Boys and Girls Club of San Francisco Tenderloin Clubhouse. I will show you today some paper craft and especially how to do a paper tree. So this is what we're going to do. It's pretty simple. It's fun. It's easy. You need about four different kind of paper. You need scissors. You need a pencil or Sharpie, either way, and a little bit of glue. All right, so here are the papers we are using today. I like a brown paper for the tree, the green for the leaves and the grass, a little red maybe for the hearts, and some orange and green for the leaves. So follow me step by step. It's quick and easy and it's fun. And the best part of it, it's a three-dimensional tree. You can stand it up. It's really beautiful, fun and easy. You use the fingers of your hand as the branches of the tree. Like I do, I use a construction paper in a nice brown color for the tree. So I put the paper in front of me. I take a Sharpie. I put my left hand, because I'm a right-handed writer, I put my left hand on the paper. What you have to pay attention to is spread your fingers really widely, spread it all out because these are going to be the branches of your tree. So you want to make sure your tree goes all the way up, it's flat on the paper. You hold your uh, Sharpie or pencil really straight up in the air, not like when you're writing, you hold it really like this. And then you start from the bottom, really slowly, slowly outline your tree on every little curve, everything around your hand. This is gonna be a nice tree. So the first branch all the way up, there's the second branch all the way up, the third one, fourth, and the thumb is the fifth one. So there are all the branches. Then we go slowly all the way down to the edge of the paper and we are done. That's gonna be the tree. So the next step is to cut out the tree. I take my scissors and start at the lower edge and follow the line. You don't have to be too precise with the tree. I just want to make sure I cut all the little curves in because it makes it more interesting. And you can be creative and go a little bit out of the shape if you like. I really enjoy having the, the shape of the hand visible, but you can really be creative and do your own tree with this. You just have the hand as a suggestion how your fingers could be, the branches could be, but you could do more. I just like it in a way that you recognize the hand in the tree. So we're gonna cut all the different lines really nicely. Make sure we have all the branches. And then we go all 
down the tree trunk and it widens up a little bit on the bottom so that's where it's gonna stand off and here we got our tree so so we did cut out the the tree out of the paper now we're going to do the grass. We take a green paper, same size, and we cut a stripe out of it. So there will be a little stripe of grass. Doesn't have to be even, but it is the base of the tree. So we try a little stripe like this. That is going to be the grass. You can draw however the grass on it if you like. I just don't do it. I just like a little zigzag line like here. It's quick and easy and it's not too hard to do. The only thing you have to remember, you always cut just from the outside. So you take one edge up here and then you do the little cuts left and right all along the paper. And you can make it even, uneven. It really is doesn't matter it's grass so it can be done in any way you can make it crooked lines small lines it's really up to you but I would recommend to finish it up because it really looks nice if it goes the grass goes all around the tree and it builds a beautiful base to hold up the tree so it is three-dimensional so the grass has really the purpose more than just be a nice decoration so i'm almost there there's my grass so that's how it's going to look now I take my tree and I put the grass down and what I'm doing first is I place the tree right in the middle of my grass right there so that's where I'm gonna glue it so I take my tree add just a little bit of um, glue down here on the bottom cut so we apply a little bit of glue just a little bit not too much that's enough the glue is strong all right and we place it right in the middle of our grass right there good all right so this is our tree now the next step to make it three-dimensional, we will glue it together, but first we're going to do the leaves. So this is the first thing we do. So we need another little bit of green paper. You take a stripe, just a little stripe like this, and we make several leaves at once. So what I like to do, I have a little stripe, I fold it in half. I fold it again in quarters like this and then I use this as a leaf so just to demonstrate for you guys you have your little piece of green and you're gonna make a leaf shape like this and like that like you draw an eye something like that so here it is we just cut it out nice leaf shape so the good thing is because you folded it several times you will have several leaves at once so we're going to do this a few times take another stripe same 
cream paper, fold it in half, fold it in quarters, and then we cut the leaf shape out as you did before, a little bent line and another bent line. And there we have at least eight leaves, which is great to start with. So I like to color it up a little bit. So I take some other orange paper. These are little post-its. They are also really nice to cut, really thin and easy. So I have two layers of post-its. You can do construction paper as well. You put it together, you fold it in half like this and you fold it again into quarters like this. So now this is a square shape. To make it easy, I would do the leaf diagonal. So I use the shape here to make it even this way and that way. So I use most of the paper I cut in the little rounded curve here, do it on the other side as well. And now this is really nice and thin. So post-its are much easier to cut. So we fold it open, take out the different layers, and then you have several leaves here ready to put on your tree to make it a little bit more colorful. So we have here a few more. And two more here. got a lot of leaves out of the poster. So that's already like a nice tree. Now we want to add something more colorful and I have this red paper to do some hearts. You can also do butterflies, you can do other creatures, flowers, all that stuff works really well. So again, I make a little stripe here, use that paper Take a little stripe, fold it in half, and fold it in quarters. Then I have this little shape, and instead of drawing like a whole heart, I will fold it just in half again, and just write the number two on it without doing the bottom line here. It is a nice little circle, and then the bottom line you don't need, just the upper part of the two. So you write the number two on it. And you start it here in the middle of the paper and then you just cut out the two nicely. Just make sure it's nice and round. And there we go. This is our heart. And so because we folded it, we have four nice little hearts. There you go. Yeah, that looks kind of fun. So we are almost there. Let me take this away here. So the next step is to glue all our leaves on. So take a little bit time to adjust the glue. Do you just need a drop on the back of each leaf, each heart, just a little drop, not too much. Just want to make sure it's attached. So the other thing is, I only do one side for you guys to demonstrate. You can also turn the tree around and 
work on the back side of the tree as well and use that back side for leaves and hearts and butterflies and maybe birds and flowers and all that stuff but I just do one side for you guys today and then you can explore this on your own how your tree wants to look like Let me put the last hearts on it. And then we're gonna do the stand up of the tree. We're gonna fold it a little bit and we will make it stand up nicely. Hold on, we're almost there. different leaves on it it's nicely attached not too much glue and then we will be able to hold it up so now in order to make it like this tree standing up we need a slight bend here in that hand so you take your tree you don't fold it but you bend it a little bit, just a little bit. Don't press it all the way down. You just need a little curve in that paper to make it stand up. That's really, really important, like this. That's just enough. So the next step is to use a little bit of glue on the back of your grass. If you have it laid down, you bend it forward and add a little bit of glue here on that side it's more than enough now I put it down here line it up nicely and put the other side right on top of the glue so press this nicely together don't bend the edges you need to have it like nicely round so the fold base and here we have our tree nicely done it stands up on its own and you can continue to decorate it so there's a lot to do maybe on the back side of your tree maybe you make a smaller one you ask one of your brothers and sisters to give you a hand a smaller hand a larger hand ask your parents and then you can uh, stand it all up like this and make your own little forest of trees so that was the session of today i hope you enjoyed it um, come back for other arts and crafts projects and write your comments down on your box to s on my um, comment box to really tell me what you think what you want to do, any suggestions, questions, all of that, that would be great. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.